What is up guys, I'm Ryan and in this video we're going to go over the basics of derivatives. All right? um, as we mentioned in the intro to derivatives video, if, in order for us to do differentiation, so in order for us to do differentiation, there are two methods, right? There are two techniques. We mentioned number one is by first principles and number two is with the formula booklet. So this one here is HL only, so that'll be in another video. So in this video, we're focusing on this, okay? We're focusing on the formula booklet, um, formula booklet method. Specifically, uh, we'll focus on the function type x to the power of n, okay? So what does the function type x to the power of n mean? So if you recall back to the functions unit, you guys learned about many different function types, right? So we have a polynomial function, and polynomial function is x to the power of n, right? So example could be like maybe uh, x squared, oops, could be like x squared or x cubed or like x4, da 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 da. So these are called polynomial functions. We also have trig functions, right? Uh, trig functions, that's like uh, sine x, cosine x, uh, tangent x, right? And we also have what else? A log functions, log functions. So we have like log base 10, x something like that maybe um so what i'm saying there's many many more right many many more function types that you have to know but in this video we're focusing on polynomial type okay polynomial type the differentiation of the polynomial type so uh let me put a box around it so you know what we're focusing on we're focusing on this okay we're focusing on polynomial function type and the method to differentiate is with formula booklet okay this is hl only you don't have to care about it this is uh, this is H. So if you're HL, you have to care about this. You need to watch other video. But if you're SL, you just have to look at this video. Okay. So let's start. Um, from the previous video, intro to derivatives, you should know what is derivative, right? We're trying to find the slope. Now, in the last video, I haven't showed you how do you actually differentiate a function. So now in this video, we teach you how. I'll teach you how do you actually differentiate. Okay. So let's take an example. Let's say your original function is f(x) equals to x squared. Yeah. How do I know? that the derivative f prime x is equal to 2x. Well, so the answer is 2x, okay? The answer is 2x. But how do you know this? So you have to look at your formula booklet, okay? Your formula booklet, SL 5.3, okay? Look at your formula booklet, go to SL 5.3. Do you see how it says the derivative of x to the power of n? It says fx, this, x to the power of n, and then f prime x equals n x n minus one. Okay, so look at your formula booklet. You should see this at SL 5.3. What does this tell you? It's that the derivative of this is this. Okay, derivative of this is this. So if you look closely, what do you do? Whenever you see polynomial function type, polynomial function type, okay, make sure this does not work for any other up function type. It only works with a polynomial function type. When you see a polynomial function type to di differentiate this, all you gotta do is you drag the power down and then subtract the power by one. So in this case, we have x to the power of two, right? So if we drag the two down, we get two x. And x to the power of two minus one is one. Another example, let's say I have fx is equal to x to the power of three. Then what is the derivative of this right here? Very simple. First step is you drag, since I know I identified that this is polynomial function type. So first you need to ask yourself, what is the function type? This is polynomial, right? So if you know this polynomial, what can you do? You can look at the formula booklet at 5.3 because it tells you what is the derivative, right? So now it, the formula booklet tells us to drag the number down. So we have three, drag it down, copy down the X, and then the power will be three minus one, which is two, okay? Is this clear? So again, if you see the polynomial function type, to find the derivative of it, you drag it down, and then you do multiply by the power subtract by one. Okay, now another question. Uh, let's say we have f of x is equals to x squared, uh, 3x squared plus 2x cubed. Okay, so again, what do you do? Okay, so again, first is okay, all of these here are polynomial function type. Okay, I identified my function type, polynomial function type. Now, then, what do you do? Of course, you look at the formula booklet, right? It's this one again. We use the same method. So what do you have to do? You have to drag the number down, drag the power down, and then do the exponent power here, minus one, power minus one, okay? So what does that mean? So if we were to 
drag the 2 down, it will become 6, right? Because 3 times 2 is 6, okay? When you drag it down and there's already a number here, you have to multiply these two numbers together, okay? So 3 times 2 is 6. And then you write down the x, and then 2 minus 1 is 1, okay? So again, according to the formula book, we said we have to drag it down and then subtract this power by 1, right? So what I did, I did drag it down, becomes 6, minus this by 1, so it becomes 1, okay? And then plus... Next one is drag the 3 down. 3 times 2 is 6. So 6. X. 3 minus 1 is 2. So it becomes like this. So simple. So answer is 6x plus 6x squared. Okay. If you'd like to factorize it, you can factorize it as 6x, 1 plus x. Okay. Doesn't matter. Understand? So we know that the derivative of x, f, the derivative of fx is equal to this. So we know that the derivative of this is now this. Okay. Good. So now, what do you, now, what's the point? What's the point of knowing the derivative, right? We said we can find the instantaneous slope, okay? So let's use back our original, let's use the previous example. We have fx is equal to 3x squared plus 2x cubed, right? So if fx is equal to 3x squared, we know, we know that the derivative of this is 6x, 1 plus x, yes? If we were to try to graph this, what do we, what do we see? Now, if we try to graph this, okay, let's try to graph this, we get... we get something like this, right? So what does this mean? We know that at basically at x equal to 0, there should be 0 slope, right? When x is at, let's say, 1, we have a positive slope, right? When x is, let's say, negative 1, there's a negative slope. If x is, let's say, negative 2, there's a positive slope. So do you see how this is positive slope? Then 0 slope right here at the vertex goes negative slope, and then goes 0 slope. And then goes positive slope, right? So the derivative tells us the slope of the original function. So let's try to match it up. So here is positive, positive, but going less, goes to zero. So it should some, look something like, um, let's just graph this. So 6x. So if we were to graph this, it should look something like this. Okay? Why is it like this? So we said that at the two vertexes, we have zero slope, right? So if you look here, this is zero slope and zero slope, right? And then if you look here, this section has positive slope, right? So this section has positive slope. And then this section has, neg has positive slope. So this section has positive slope. And also we have this section here, negative slope, negative slope, okay? Okay, now to clarify, why does this section mean negative slope? It's because on the graph on the right here, the y-axis means slope, okay? So the y-coordinates of these points here means the slope, right? So if you look here, do you see how, for example, let's say a point here. This point right here has a y-coordinate of negative, right? That means at this point right here, at this specific x value, there's a negative slope, okay? And for example, here. What is the y coordinate and the x coordinate of this specific point? Well, this is obviously 0, 0, right? So what does this mean? 0, 0. We have a point 0, 0 here. This point right here is 0, 0, right? So it means this is the x coordinate. It means when x is 0, y is 0, right? Because this is y, right? y is 0. But what does y is 0 mean? It means the slope is 0 because our y, is, our y coordinate means slope now, okay? So um, hope that clarifies everything. Um, so here are a few examples you can try by yourself, okay? So let's say we have f of x is equals to negative 2x3 plus 2x squared plus x, okay? What would this be? Pause the video and try it yourself, okay? Um, so this is the answer. So we know that the derivative is, since I know all these are polynomial function types. So what I do, I drag it down and then subtract by the power by one, right? So drag the three down, it'll be negative six x squared plus drag the two down. So two times two is four and then it'll be x to the power of one because two minus one is one. And then what do I have here? This is the tricky part, right? What is the power here? Remember, there's an imaginary one here, right? So we drag it down, it'll just still be one. So one and then the x will be now imaginary one, right? If you subtract this by one, what happens? It becomes zero, right? So x to the power of zero. 
if we were to simplify this, it will be negative 6x squared plus 4x, right? And then 1 times x to the power of 0, x to the power of 0 is always 1, so 1 times 1 is 1, so just plus 1. So there's your answer, okay? Um, another practice question is, let's say original function is equals to this. So let's say we have uh, 1 over 3, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x, right? Now, what is f prime of x? Again, all of these are polynomial function types, right? So try to do this yourself. Okay, cool. Now, this is the answer, right? So first is you, they're all polynomial function types. So we can use the 5.3 formula booklet, 5.3 formula booklet, right? That's right. Now, what do you do? Drag the 3 down. So we have x to the power of 2, right? Drag the 3 down. 1 over 3 times 3 is 1. And then 3, and then the power 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. So this minus 1 is going to be 2 here. This and then this times this is 1, so that's why there's a 1 here. But I don't need to write it, right, because imaginary. And then plus 2 times 2 is 4x, right, because this times this gives me 4. And then 2 minus 1 is 1, so I don't need to write the 1 again. And then minus 5, okay, why is this 5? Because here is imaginary 1, right? Again, if we don't write anything here, it means 1, right? 1 times this number here is right and then the negative comes here negative okay negative here comes here negative and then this x has a power of zero now right so it's supposed to be x to the power of zero but x to the power of zero is the same as one so it's like this right so negative five times one is negative five so i don't have to write anything so there's a final answer okay so if you guys have any further questions feel free to put it down in the comments below if this video helped you please give it a like and uh good luck and i'll see you guys next time bye bye